Yes guys, what's going on? It's Max. Welcome back to Players World. Today we're here at the Wheel Pros Open Day and we're going to check out some of the cars. We're here with Ash from Regal Autosport. Hi guys. How are we doing? I'm doing good, doing good. It's been a long old journey up here, but I think it's been worth it. Yeah, so this is uh, your Lamborghini Huracan supercharged build? Yeah, so Lamborghini Huracan um, LP610-4. Um, so yeah, the four-wheel drive model, um, 610 um, PS model. So we've supercharged it. Um, obviously you can go turbo or you can go superchargers. Um, you can do software on these, get a bit more power, but it's nothing like adding like another 200 horsepower, which is obviously what the supercharger kit does. Um, so yeah, it's another like 200 foot pounds, like low down from like 1500 RPM. So it's a proper kick in the back of the head. Um, but you don't lose any of like the naturally aspirated um, sort of tone out of the exhaust system and stuff like that. So it still sounds pretty cool and it's absolutely ballistic as well. Um, I always thought these needed more power. Um, it's one of the things that I've been heavily criticized. So 800 brake now probably tingles your balls a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Proper puts your head into the back of the seats, you know, makes people scream in the passenger seat, which is always great. Terrifying people and stuff. So. Uh, VF yeah, supercharger. VF, VF engineering supercharger. Um, so we've color matched it to the brakes as well. Um, so that, that's like an option. Usually it's black, which sort of like obviously gets lost inside the engine bay. And obviously if you've got like a transparent engine bay cover, you want to have something flash underneath there. Obviously being a Lamborghini as well, it's in keeping with that. So yeah, so yeah, another 200 horsepower. So supercharger kit, um, no like engine internal mods, like anything like that. Literally just full on bolt on. Um, you've got like the um, coolant radiators for the supercharger, like in the arches and stuff like that. We've also done a Craftwich exhaust system as well. So that's why it sounds a little bit better than obviously like a standard Hurricane. So titanium exhaust with the carbon fiber tips with the ti titanium on the inside as well. So obviously heard me pull up this morning. It's pretty loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like I said, I heard it way before I saw it. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, Back to supercharger, so you get that linear power still. Yeah, so it's basically just, it's almost like having a, like an even bigger capacity engine because the power and torque is just lifted everywhere from like the bottom of the rev range all the way to the top. You don't get like a surge of torque like you do with like a twin turbo kit. Obviously some people like that, but for those that want to retain like the naturally aspirated exhaust note, which quite a few people do, mm -hmm. the supercharger is the way to go really. Yeah, and I guess from a drivability point of view, obviously mm -hmm. probably a nicer driving experience yeah definitely i mean literally driving up today it was like driving any other car at like 70 mile an hour nice and easy um it's not particularly too dramatic when you're just driving it around like normally but then yeah when you put the throttle down and stuff it's like spinning up second third fourth gear so matting wild. matting so uh thanks very much ash for showing us around uh the car maybe later we'll uh Go out for a take spin. it for a spin good to see you, man. let's do it so we're over at the car park area over the other display area we've got taken Taken, Taken, um, pretty cool. Electric Porsche, Vexus C4S, my future car. He just doesn't know it yet. Um, I'm gonna lowball him next year for it. So I found this really cool Prelude here, sitting really nice. Um, really rare to see these cars. Not often you see them stanced out like this. I don't think there's much of the shell for these. I love a pop-up light, who doesn't? Proper period correct. The white just works really nice. The wheels nicely done. Really cool rally we got here. Mad engine, sitting really nice on some OZ Super Ligeras probably. Um, Z3 M Coupe, this is a really cool clown shoe, whatever you want to call it. Absolute vibe, total stock. Um, yeah, these, these, are, these are cool. Talking of cool, 6.3 V8 AMG wagon, um, early boy, this stanced out really really nice like this is probably one of my favorite ones so far um although it's just got a drop um i love these love this shape probably a bit of a marmite car with the twin headlights bit of an early one but for me i'm a wagon boy i like this um rick a bit of you another bb trying to take your crown i think you still got it though cool mart 7 go far on lvs road forms stanced aired out looking real nice Really nice color, matte interior, leather trim in the yellow, killing it. Here with uh, Alex from Driftworks. How are you doing? Not bad, you? Yeah, good, good, thanks. Good. Um, your Mini? Yeah. Or your Mrs. Mini? Or your mum's Mini? My Mini. Yeah, your it's Mini. Adult Mini. Oh, is it? Because, yeah, it's got black wheels and stuff. And no chrome, so. All oh, right. It's not a child's Mini. 
Is it rear wheel drive swapped? Yes, NS twelve on the back for the the grip for the, the grip. Track. Perfect. Rear wheel drive. It's one J as well. One J swapped. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Um, what wheels are you on? Uh, RSEs with new black caps. Nice. Uh, specs. Seventeen eight eighty thirty. All round. Sid's really nice, so um, all you mini boys that want to copy specs and sit like he does, he's just giving you the secrets. You could trick me there. Yeah, got me. I got you. Um, what are those? Sakai's. Sakai's? Sakai's? <laughs> um, yeah, Alex, Driftworks. And ILB. And ILB. Do you love bass? So much. <laughs> it's my favourite thing. Absolutely terrible. This is really cool. Carmen gear, Volkswagen gear. Um, if I'm even pronouncing it right, or if it's right, this is really cool. Absolute vibe, proper hot rod style with a patina worn paint. Interior is pretty much non existent, but I survived. Porsche steering wheel. Yeah, these are cool. I think that these are rear engined as well. So, uh, probably a Beetle floor pan or something like that. Correct us in, <laughs> if I'm wrong, which I probably am. Um, yeah, I like this. This is a vibe. Quad exhausts for the boys. Subtle flex, GT4, just a minor thing. These things are mad. Lexus aired out, pretty interesting. 964. So here with this uh, really cool Honda Ruckus, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Honda Ruckus, yeah, in America, and I zoom right over here, yeah. All right, pretty cool. Um, obviously, you're styling with your forensics coat. Yep. Yeah, uh, just, yeah. Talk, really us, talk us through your vibe first before we go on Comf the bike. Comfort, and it's wet. It's a look, so. it's a look. Yeah. Um, Cheers. <laughs> totally, all right, so the bike. Um, yeah, I know nothing about it. Yeah, so it um, starts off as a little 50cc. Um, it's got a 125 that's been converted to a 170cc on the back. Um, obviously stretched out two and a half inches. So you've got all the billet um, frame mounts, suspension mounts, um, the ankle biter kit to expose all the belt. Um, 12 by eight wheel on the back, stretched tire. Um, yeah, everything's pretty, pretty, everything's custom on it. Um, I built it over lockdown. Uh, with a lot of help from um, Lee at um, Ruckstyle UK. Helped me get a lot of parts from the Ruck shop over from America. Um, but yeah, it's just it, it's built to represent my barber shop, which is black and gold. So, so yeah, this is the outcome of it, really. Yeah, the uh, love black and gold, obviously, for, for me, black and gold, oh, it works. So you said, hold on, just to break it back, it's stretched. Yeah, so <clears throat> it's stretched 12 and a half inches back. So you've got all the billet engine mount there and the rear suspension pushes it all the way back. So originally the engine would sit a lot more under the seat. Um, and then you put a long case engine on it and the stretch kit, um, and yeah, it just makes it sit a lot longer. You can get longer ones, but they're excessively long, so. Yeah, this is, uh, oh cool, the, like, I did not know that. That's, that's, cool. that's really cool. The stretch, obviously, on the rear looks mad. Um, seat, I don't even want to touch it. Yes, yeah, what, yeah. So, so again, it's just um, <clears throat> something from the Ruck shop over in America. They, they basically send you the seat cover and you just wrap it around the old seat and staple it underneath it's pretty simple really but cost effective rather than cheaper than getting it trimmed professionally and, and it looks the part so yeah it looks really good feels good um yeah cool little bike um do you actually like what's like do you ride it uh, is yeah, there something yeah i do ride it i bought it here in the van today because of the weather but um i do try and ride it as much as i can when the weather's good um surprisingly comfortable ride the geometry of it really works. You wouldn't think so with a big stretch tire on the front and the stretch, but it's very comfortable to ride. Um, the engine, being a GY6 Chinese engine, it can be a bit rattly, so you, you do shake a little bit when you get off of it. But yeah, it's quite a nice, it's a nice bike to ride. I enjoy it. I, I really like riding it, but the weather's just been so bad recently. It just ain't worth, worth putting, it, putting it through that, but <clears throat> I had it all fully repainted. Um, shaved the, um, shaved all the back of the, back part of the frame, lowered seat frame on it as well. Billet, billet handlebars, lowered front, lowered the back. Yeah, yeah man. Big, big look. Um, yeah, I like that. Thanks oh, for cheers, talking man. us through your bike. Hey, man, um, no I appreciate it, man. No worries, cheers. Man. Yes, guys, we're here with the uh, Drifters. <laughs> big boy Drifters, uh, V8 Drifters. <laughs> um, 
So, um, introduce yourselves. What are you laughing for? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, come here. Okay, 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 no, no, okay. Have you wheeled back? I'm out. Oh, shit. The, the boss has turned up. The fuck off, he said. I'm expecting back Monday. All right, no, let's, let's, let's get serious. Let's get serious for a moment. For one moment. I can't take him seriously. He's got camo trousers on and Phil Mittel's jacket. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking bouncer. Why are you laughing? You're wearing the same jacket nearly. <laughs> I'm fucking green trousers. Look. Fuck. The Mexican bags. <laughs> We're here with uh, George Barkley, 157. Says it on the t shirt. Right there. Right there. LS swapped. Yeah. Drift car. Yeah, it's 13. Oh. Sick. What wheels are you on? Wheels, Mategi Racing, MR152s. Yep. They're in the uh, the gunmetal finish and yeah, finish nice. the car off, man. They look savage. Look great. Talk to us about the car. Obviously LS, but... Yeah, it's uh, LS3. Uh, it's cammed up. It's running about 570 horsepower. Uh, we run a Quave 69G gearbox and then a Winters quick change rear end. Um, it's pretty simple. We keep things you know relatively straightforward on this car. Purely because with what we do with racing stuff, it's... You know, you get a lot of damage, a lot of problems here and there. So we want to be able to work on the car quickly, get things done, turn it around, keep it on track. Yeah, get it back so, on the track. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. Car's looking good. Thanks, man. Nice uh, livery. You want to talk to us about your sponsors? Yeah, so, well, livery, first of all, is from FLS, much like both of these guys here. So uh, they hooked us up with a reflective wrap. And, yeah, it's, it's mustard, man. I mean, the car looks sick at night. Looks sick in the day, so you can't really beat that, really. Nah, nah. Looks sick going sideways? Yeah, of course. Good. Especially with me behind the wheel. <laughs> Uniform, boys. I need to sit my jacket up. <laughs> what shit, boy, man. Like what shit, I'm back. Here with Bagsy, you want to talk to us through your uh, drift car? Uh, nice. Yeah, this is my Nissan PS13. Uh, it's a 7.4 litre V8. Uh, it's got a Harrop supercharger on it. It makes about 850 wheel horsepower, six speed sequential gearbox, um, running rotiform LS, LA, <laughs> LASR rotiform wheels, uh, wheel brakes, full fiberglass body kit. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks. What's uh, your favourite bit about this car? Um, favorite part, probably the power it puts down. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to drive. It's pretty, pretty aggressive. Um, it's just got back from uh, Oman. We sent it over there to do some events, but unfortunately they got canceled. But the car arrived back on Friday, so it got here just in time for today. Nice. Where can we see you next? Uh, so we're going to Norway for Drift Masters round one in a couple of weeks time. So yeah, we'll be heading there with this car next. Perfect. Good luck with it. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. Luke. Hello. How are we doing? Yeah. Good. You? Good, good. Good. Nice to see you. You want to talk us over through your car? Yeah, Nissan, obviously with the conventional V8 swap, but the rest of the lads. Mategi uh, MR146 wheels, nice and lightweight, nice and strong. Um, yeah, that's about it. 630 horsepower, all of the fun um, and all of the noise. Yes, nice, nice. So, um, what V8 are you running though? So it's a custom built, it's a custom built LS1, but with different bits from like LS3s and whatever else in it. So LSXR intake. Um, yeah, made 630 horsepower, so it's about 550 at the wheels. Nice, juicy. Um, your wheels, you said. Black and brown. Yeah. Mategi 146s. Yeah. Decent wheels, look decent. I've always been a fan of them. Um, nice and lightweight, super strong. We put them up to the test every time we drive a car you know, driving aggressively with other drivers. Um, yeah. Also reflective uh, wrap? Of course, I'd like to say I was probably one of the, I was the second person to go reflective. Um, so this is reflective, my truck's reflective, my van's reflective. That I'm reflects your reflective. personality. That's it, love it. <laughs> Third to go reflective, you Third to go reflective. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, that's been the V8 Drift boys have come down today. Thank you very much for coming down, boys. Really appreciate it. Yes, guys, so this has been Show Report at Wheel Pro's Open Day. We've had a look around some of the cars. Let us know which one was your favorite. Thanks for watching. See you next time.